in an APS homeschool. I hope you are fine. I am Farhana Yasmin, assistant teacher of morning shift. Today I will take ICT class from class 8. Our today's topic is chapter 3, safe and ethical use of information and communication technology. Today we are going to do two lessons from this chapter. Lesson 15, the idea of security and lesson 16, manager software. So let's start today's lesson. Lesson 15. Here we will discuss the idea of security. In the previous chapters, you have learned that we share and store information through computer and network. So when you are using computer and the network for such purpose, there are also people who want to steal that information and destroy that information or use it for unethical purposes. These kind of people are called hacker and that process is called hacking. But there are also firewalls or security system that tries to protect your computer and also passwords or patches which tries to block entry to suspicious people such as hackers. So these hackers use malicious software to get entry to our system, break through the security system and try to guess our passwords. Our next lesson is about such malicious software. Usually we use two types of software. One is system software and the other is application software. So system software is the kind of software that we use to run the computer system, such as the operating system, such as Windows or Macintosh. And application software are those applications that we use to do different activities in our computer, such as word processors and web browsers. Word processors are applications like Microsoft Word or Notebook or Open Word. And web browsers are Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. And there are also other kind of application softwares which we use to listen to songs or watch movies, etc. So these are usually used by us to work. But those people who want to destroy others' information or steal others' information or destroy other systems and cause harm, they use different harmful softwares. And these harmful softwares are about malware. The word malware comes from malicious software. These two words are combined to form the word malware. Here are some examples of malware. The most common types of malware are computer virus, computer worms, and trojans. We will start by discussing these most common three forms. At first, computer virus. A computer virus is usually attached with executable files. When you run the executable file in your computer, then this virus spreads. It gets activated and it spreads. If you use a device in that infected computer, such as a pen drive, the virus gets into that device also. And then, if you use that device in another computer, then from this uh, device, such as pen drive, that computer is infected also. In this way, a virus spreads through devices. Next is computer worms. Computer worms spread actively. They don't need another executable file or software to spread. They spread actively and they spread from one network to another network. Then there is trozos. Trozos disguise themselves as other important softwares. So that when you want to use that software, instead the trozos is activated. And after activation, it corrupts the files and then it imports more trojans into your system to corrupt your system. So these were the most common forms of harmful software or malware that we see in computers. There are also other type of harmful software such as rootkit, spider or adverb. They also try to harm your system in different ways. So this was today's lesson. I hope you understood today's discussion. 
and I hope that you study more at home and listen to your parents. See you next time. Allah Hafiz.